Welcome to Senior Craft Afternoon, everyone. Today we're going to be making these felt flowers. If you picked up your kit, you should have everything you need. So you'll have a stack of felt and you should have 10 different colors. You should have some glue and a popsicle stick. You should have a few pins. And you should have three different templates, the square, and then these two. The only thing you'll need to grab is a pair of scissors. The first thing you'll need to do is cut out all of your patterns. So once they're cut out, you can decide what types of flowers you want to make. And I'm going to show you which patterns go along with which flower. So these round ones will get you these flowers. These two rectangles will get you the centers for your flowers. So the smaller one will make this fringe center and the larger one will get you this one. You've also got two petal patterns. The longer petals look like this. And this one will give you petals that look like this. Your last two patterns are for your foliage so you'll end up with this leaf and this one looks like this one it's finished. I'm going to start with the easiest flower. So I'm going to pick this round pattern and this is what I'll end up with. You can trace the pattern onto the felt if you like, but I just pinned it. And then I'll cut around. on my pattern that I've got a spiral here that's to remind me how to cut it. So you're going to cut a spiral until you get to almost the center. Um, we do want to leave a little bit of space so that we can have a bottom for the flower. So start in this corner here. Getting close to the center. So I'm gonna stop. Now what we're going to do is apply some glue and start rolling this towards the center. And you don't need to cover the whole thing in glue. I'm gonna start rolling. You will get glue all over your fingers, but it dries clear, so don't worry about having extra glue on the felt. And then every now and then as I'm rolling, I'll stop and add more glue. So we're getting close to the end here. Apply some more glue. Okay, so now we're to the point where we have this little tail. So I'm going to apply glue to the bottom. And that's going to cover up the bottom of the spiral. And it'll give you something to glue when you're attaching this to your box. And if you want to do the larger one, 
it ends up about twice the size. So there's your first flower. Now we're going to work on the center. So I've got my smaller rectangle and I'm going to work on cutting this. So pin it down. Okay, so what we're going to do is cut strips going to here, so about a centimeter away from the edge. I'm going to cut the strips like this so they're very thin. So here is what you end up with. Now I'm going to apply some glue along the edge. And we're going to roll this up just like we did with the other flower. Okay, so this is what we end up with. It's probably a little long, but we can trim it after we make the flower. I'm going to add a little bit of extra glue on the bottom. And while this is set aside, I'm going to put a pin here just so that it stays rolled up. So now I'm working on the petals for this flower. I've got my center. And I need eight petals, so I've got six cut, and I'm working on the last set. All right, so now I've got eight petals. Now I have eight petals. Okay. So I still have this pin. Take the pin out and start arranging. So for this one, I'm going to start here and then place one on the opposite side and then do the final two here. So I'm working in sets of four. So I'm going to add some glue to the center first. Also going to add some glue to the petals. Just on the edges. Okay, now I'll start arranging. So one here, one on the opposite side, this third one will overlap these two just a little bit. And the fourth one will go here. So those are the first four. Now we're going to add the next four arranging so that they're overlapping, but you want it to look like two layers of flowers, so you don't want to put the next layer directly on top.
So I'm gonna set this aside for now. I'm gonna pin it and apply some glue to these. So this one will be overlapping this layer here, and I'm gonna center it on this line. And the next one will be overlapping the one I just applied. And this one will be overlapping on this side. final one will end up here. I'm going to flip that over and see how it looks. A couple of pins in first. Okay, so the center is a little bit long. So you can wait till it dries to trim it. I'm gonna do it now just so you see how it looks. So just as evenly as possible. And that's what you end up with. So I'm going to put another pin in here. Make sure this is all stuck together. If you need to apply more glue that looks like it's not stuck together in any of these spaces, then you can add more glue, but I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it. And I let it dry upside down, so I'm just gonna set it aside and clean up here before I start on my next flower. So now we're gonna be working on the center that looks like this. So I've got a scrap of felt here and my larger rectangle. Now for this one, we're also going to cut strips and stop at about the same point, about a centimeter away from the edge, but they're going to be thicker. going to run some glue right where the cuts start. And we're going to fold these strips down and attach them there. Okay, so this is what you end up with, and now we're gonna apply some glue down here. And we'll roll this up. So this is what you end up with. And just like with the last one, I'm going to put 
put some glue on the bottom. And pin it and set it aside while I work on the petals. So now we'll be working on a flower that looks like this. So I have my center from earlier. For this flower, I cut six petals uh, because they're a little bit larger than the last ones, but if you want to add even more, you can cut as many as you'd like. <laughs> so I've got six of these cut from this pattern. I'm going to apply glue to all of these petals. I'm going to apply glue to the center. I'm going to start here. And then just like with the other flower, I'm going to go to the opposite side and add another petal. And then I'm going to place two here and two on this side. So I'm going to overlap this petal just a bit. And then add this one in here. So I'm filling in that space. So I'm going to see what this looks like. And if it's not even, you can move them around. As long as the glue is still wet, I'm going to go ahead and leave it. But I am going to pin it before I set it aside. And add some more glue to the bottom. You want to make sure that you get all the petals here so that they attach to the center. And then I'll set that aside with my other flower. So now we'll be working on the foliage. Since we only have a half sheet of felt, we want to be careful how we cut these leaves. This does need to run the entire length of the piece, so I do that one first. I'm going to get rid of my excess felt here, set it aside for later, and start cutting around the points. This doesn't have to be precise. So I cut to here and then snip it off there. It's easier than trying to get the scissors in here. Go ahead and remove the pattern and then round out the edges. So 
are kind of pointy. Now I'm going to grab some glue and apply it along the edge. Okay, and we'll start rolling this up. Alright, and I'm going to apply some glue here. and I'll pin this and set it aside. When this is dry, you'll be able to fan these out. Okay, now I'll be working on this leaf. So I'm going to pin the pattern down. And just cut around the edge. I'm not going to worry about these notches until later on. So now I can cut these notches. So we'll remove the pattern and we're going to need to cut a strip of felt to go down the center here. So I've got a scrap right here. I'm just going to cut a thin strip. It's probably a bit long so cut it down here. See how that looks. Okay, that works. So then I'll apply some glue to this. And attach it. Remember that about a half hour after you pin these You'll want to take the pins out. You don't want them to be stuck in there when the glue is dry. So by the time you're finished with your flowers, you should be able to take these out. And the glue will have started sticking the felt pieces together. So now you'll want to cut your brown piece of felt just to line the bottom. And start arranging your flowers to see how you'd like it to look. Okay, you can add as many as you'd like in there. Some of these I had done earlier. 
So once you've got everything arranged the way that you like it, you'll just glue these down and you'll be done. If you end up finishing your project and you'd like to share, please post a photo comment on Facebook. I would love to see your finished projects. Please keep an eye on our summer calendar for more crafts we'll be working on throughout the rest of the summer. Bye!